Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. And as always, I am your host, Loco. Now, as you can see, today's video, we are back with Nukes Top 5. This is going to be 5 Scary Ghost videos. Sleep is cancelled. Again, I've got work today, so I'm having to do this before going to work. But as always, man, stay safe, stay blessed. I'm not going to talk too much in this one. You know what time it is. I know what time it is. Let's do this, shall we? All right, fam. Let's see what this one's about. Let me turn this off my headphones. Top five ghosts, all on camera. That's loud. Catch them all <laughs> on camera. Zach from the YouTube channel Catch Em All Fishing has a channel dedicated to fishing and catching reptiles. Nothing Hell creepy no, or I ain't nothing doing paranormal that, whatsoever. At least until nope. this recent video. Not touching In the video, snakes, Zach fam. is exploring no an way. undisclosed location that he calls, quote, an abandoned underground city. He says that he is trying to find and capture a python, as the large snakes are drawn to warm wet places like this. As he enters the dark building, he immediately feels like he's not alone. So before I get too deep in here, I just want to let you all know I'm looking for snakes right now, for pythons, and honestly, I feel like I shouldn't be in here. Then you should probably really get out, bro. Here, and it's really big. Hello? I says demons on the wall, As he bro. explores the dark underground building, Zack is a little jumpy. And it turns out, he has reason to be. Oh, sh shit. Dude. What? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I'd have been Zach dipping as well, bro. Coming from somewhere down the winding underground hallways. He decides to hide, thinking there might be someone else in there with him. Someone up to no good. Wish me luck, guys. I gotta shut off my light. I don't know what's going on. No. Nope. You didn't catch me up in there, bro. The voice is stopped. Man, that can be a cult. That could be anything, bro. You could be the next sacrifice. The voice has stopped, guys. Boy, something's about to happen, fam. What the? F Eventually, the voices stop, and Zach decides to make a break for it, leaving the underground tunnel system behind. But later, when Zach reviews his footage. He realizes that he caught something absolutely terrifying in one of his camera shots. Shit. It's leaking outside from somewhere. What? Hello? The oh. bizarre figure of a pale man seems to be staring at Zach from the darkness. Wait. Zach claims that he didn't even see the figure until he reviewed his footage later. However, he says that throughout his entire exploration, he felt like someone was following behind him. So, is this strange pale figure a ghost caught on camera? Or was there just some creepy person stalking Zack throughout the tunnels? Got a light on his head. That's a person. Which makes that even creepier. Yo, don't it look like that's a shadow as well? Or the outline of a, a body? Just there. We. No, thank you. You decide. You can watch Zach's full video on his YouTube channel, Catch Em All Fishing. The Wait. Weeping Woman. Uh, on his YouTube shit. channel, Edna Hernandez does a little bit of everything, from travel vlogging to fishing to even the occasional ghost hunt. In this video, Edna travels to a small Mexican fishing village named Bajos de Mimiawa. While there, the locals tell him about a terrifying local haunting. The story goes that many years ago, a family came to the village and built a series of houses where they planned to live. 
Unfortunately, not long after the family moved to Something the village, wrong. their young son mysteriously disappeared, never to be found again. As time went by, the boy's mother went mad with grief, desperate to find her long lost son. In her unhinged state, she became homicidal. She tragically ended the lives of her entire family what, and then man. took her own life. Locals claim that they can still hear and sometimes even see the screaming woman at late hours of the night. They've started referring to her as La Llorona, the ghostly weeping woman from Central and South American folk. Isn't there a movie on that? Wasn't there a movie on that? What they called her? I'm pretty sure there's a movie on that. Folklore. I could be wrong. They believe but... that even in death, the woman is still looking for her lost child. The fishermen in the village are terrified of the ghost. Pretty sure there is a movie on it. To keep the evil spirit away from their house. Yeah, I think there is. Together with a local guide, Edda Hernandez and his friends decide to check out the now abandoned cabins at night to see if the ghost stories are true. It did not, not me, go well. You're in for the catch me doing that. I wish I never put the music in because it kind of takes away from what you're able to hear. That drumming. Cada vez que estamos metiendo más a esta a esta investigación, siento como que el aire está cambiando de hoy. ¿Oíste? Charon, está cambiando de. ¿Una niña? Una niña, una niña. No sé, no. As they walk around the dark cabins, they keep hearing what sounds like the screams of a woman or maybe a child, but they are about to encounter something truly terrifying. Este está como que, digo Ángel, Ángel, como que se ve, este, más montuno, ¿no? ¿Cómo sientes aquí, brujo? No, bastante fuerte, hermano, aquí, aquí, hoy, hoy, está peor bien, ¿no? Está muy místico. ¡A la verga, a la verga, no mames, güey! ¡A la verga! Oh no, but I am d -d 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 dipping. Oh, it's down there now. I didn't even see that. They run as the horrifying figure of a child screeches at them from the decaying cabin's second floor. Then, another scream. But now inexplicably, the figure is gone from the second story window and is now hiding in the weeds on the ground floor. So is this the ghost of the young boy who was never found? Is it La Llorona? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I don't know, but it's creepy, dog. Before we move on to the next <laughs> video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Haunting of Fort Stevens. Twin brothers Ryan and River Reese from the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal travel to the historic and allegedly haunted Fort Stevens, Oregon with their fellow explorer, Nick. The fort is said to be haunted by multiple ghosts. 
Two of the alleged spirits are said to be a father and his 10-year-old son who tragically lost their lives at the bunkers. The other ghost is said to be a soldier named August Stahlberger who was beaten to death by unknown attackers while on guard duty in 1868. Many Fort Stevens visitors claim to have seen a strange shadow figure roaming the fort's underground tunnels. Soon after arriving at the location, the twin paranormal guys jokingly discuss splitting up to explore. But that conversation is cut short. We'll split up. Split up? No. <laughs> I'm not trying to be like super badass right now. Yeah, let's split up, guys. No way. None of these pillars. Wait, wait, wait. Hello? We're with the park rangers. Mm. He's lying, we're just visiting. We're nice. Very nice people. Please be nice to us. We'll be nice to you. As they continue to explore What's the that whistling fort, sound, they begin to feel like they might not be alone. Hey, twin paranormal team is starting to get a bit freaked out by the unexplained sounds and footsteps. They search, but they can't seem to find anyone or anything to explain the strange noises. And then, without knowing, they catch something very strange. Four. Four. In a couple of seconds, you're about to see our first time catching an actual ghost anomaly, not noticing it right in front of our faces. Could this be the 10-year-old Shane Davis? Is there four people here with us tonight? A mysterious mist or reflection of a face seems to rise up the wall right in front of them. Now, this could simply be pareidolia. However, what happens next is a little harder to explain. This place is like not... Did you hear? I don't know about that one, bro. I don't know. And I f***ing like had to scream because Nick was running with his umbrella open and it's scratching every wall that we yeah, know. Yeah, dude, straight. And so I, I feel sorry. like, oh, oh hold God. on. I'm thinking to myself like, oh, f something is running after us. And then it touches my back. Just the edge touches my back. I'm so sorry. So that, I was like, ah, like re <laughs> replayed that. <laughs> That was something else. Like I thought something like that was so scary, dude. I'm not gonna lie. That was like super can scary. I just, can I turn something on here? Like after that, the guys decide to just get out of there. So did they catch a ghost on camera? You decide. I'll let over you guys be the judge of that one. Let me know if you think that was you can real check out or this not. This full video, as well as all of their other paranormal investigations. Randonautica. So I just went randonautica. Did what? What the hell is Brandon Nautica? Whatever the bloody hell they said. Let's find out. <laughs> Released early this year, Randall Nautica might be the creepiest smartphone app you'll ever use. The app has seemingly gone viral as recently hundreds of strange reports and scary videos have been showing up on social media. Sky. <laughs> oh my <laughs> The Randonautica app, once installed on your phone, asks you for your location and for you to no. focus on your quote, intent. Now supposedly what you do is visualize in your mind what you want in life or what you want to physically find. This can be anything from wanting to find something positive like love, creativity, or inspiration to darker intentions like no. finding a mystery or evil. The app then gives you GPS coordinates to some pretty strange but completely random locations near where you are. Nope. Now, allegedly random. Why would you fuck with shit like this? I don't understand that. Why would you fuck with shit like this? Honestly.
Monica users with positive intentions are led to a location with positive things like deer, lovebirds, awesome landscapes, or even a can of Coke. <laughs> However, Many Randonautica users have shared their terrifying experiences after visiting locations That's what you're with sketch, scary though. intentions in mind, like finding something dark or mysterious. TikTok users. I don't know if you guys ever played the forest, but that looks like one of one of the cannibal camps. Matt Hall was one of these people. Matt claims that he used the Randonautica app with the intention of finding something creepy, and he found it. So I saw this thing that a lot of people were doing on TikTok called Rando Nodding. It's an app that you download and it gives you a completely random location close to you that you go to and apparently it's supposed to be a glitch in the simulation or something like that. I don't really know if I believe it or not, so I downloaded the app and I thought I'd try it out for myself. It gave me a spot in the middle of the woods that's kind of close to my house, but it looks like it's along ATV trails, so we're on the ATV and let's go see where it takes us. That guy's different from Canada, isn't he? All right, so we're at the location, and this is, this is weird. There's a car just chilling in the woods. How did they even get in here, though? Like, these trees everywhere. There's no way. Obviously, it's been there for years before this the trees were there. super old. Oh boy, I'm out of there, fam. No, 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 no. an old abandoned car in the middle of the Holy wood. Holy shit. But even more bizarre, an unexplained voice seems to call out to him from the forest. Help me. Holy Boy, I am so <laughs> out of there. Understandably, Matt is spooked and just gets out of there. But after many requests from his TikTok followers, he decides to go back to the same spot. Alright guys, I came back to the location that I heard. And I bet he's gone by himself again. And he's now at night. What a dummy, fam. What a dummy. That voice when I was rando nodding. See, there's a car there. Is anybody there? Guess not. Alright, I don't know if this means anything, but there's a shirt here, a water bottle. There's water in the bottle. There's like children's toys. Wait. Like all... I scared myself. <laughs> Yo, someone's gonna be there, bro. Broken, like, all right, that's creepy. There's nothing else here. I walked like all around the, the car, but I don't see anything else. It's all that's here. Is there anybody here? Yes, I think I just heard something. Again, a voice can be heard from somewhere within the dark woods. This time, it seems to say, "Want to play a game?" I don't know what I want to play. No, Pennywise. No, thank you. Yes, I think I just heard something. Now let's cut to TikTok user Tyler Zach. Tyler says that he and his friends used the Randonautica app while focusing on the intent of, quote, evil. When they are on their way to the calculated coordinates, Why this happens. Why would you do that? Oh my god, Tyler. Tyler! Anybody else seeing something very strange? What color are my eyes? Around my. They're white, right? Tell me they're not all black. Hell no. <laughs> a furiously angry woman seems to be focused on Tyler and his friends for no apparent reason. Now, I don't know if it's fair to call this woman, quote, evil, but I certainly wouldn't describe her as a little ray of sunshine. She's either. got all black eyes, fam. And there's also the question why do her eyes look black? Oh my god, Tyler! 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 Anyway, some dismiss the Randonautica app as simply the random internet equivalent of a Ouija board. But some true believers actually make the wild claim that the app breaks or, quote, glitches the Matrix. While TikTok user Cheyenne Lee definitely says that the Matrix had a glitch the day she tried out the Randonautica app 
with her friends. Okay, so there's that dude. Keep an eye on that red truck. Now go to your camera. He's really not there. Oh my god, it's he's not, not focusing. There. He's walking. He's, oh, there he goes. He's literally right behind you us. Guys. He's right by that mailbox and he's not there. He's not there and the truck is not there. What the f***? What the f***? <laughs> he's right there. Now some viewers so dude claim that what Cheyenne dog. and her friends are looking at is the front camera of the car, yeah. not the rear. However, Cheyenne then posted a video to prove that the car doesn't even have a front camera. So, all these buttons Where's the front? Where's the front? But we can't see that screen, so there we go. There's literally no front camera. I don't know why people think I'm lying. There is no front camera. But now, let me tell you about really? one Randonautica exploration that is truly unexplainable. A group of Seattle teens were exploring with the Randonautica app and were directed to a location near the water on a Seattle beach. When they arrived there, they found a mysterious suitcase near the shore. Guys, we found a, a suitcase at the beach. Gabby, go. I'll hold your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Wait, open it. We were like, we're going to find nothing. <laughs> open it. It was sweet. <laughs> it stinks, y'all. <laughs> it washed up. It's oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. The contents inside smelled horrific. The so body the teens immediately there. called police. And a suitcase on the one. And this is when things get truly bizarre. Turns out the small black suitcase contained the remains of a human body. No one knows where the suitcase came from, and police are still investigating. What? Now let me say this again. This incident is 100% documented fact. It is not a fake video. It is not an elaborate hoax. In fact, this case was reported by multiple reliable news outlets. It still remains completely unexplained. What? So you decide, are all of these incidents just wildly random chance? Or is Randonautica truly tapping into something paranormal? In the shadows, local police I don't know. in a small neighborhood in Manila, I have no Philippines, idea. received a report that a motorcycle mirror had been stolen. So they went to check the street CCTV to see if they'd caught any evidence of the crime. They didn't catch the crime on camera, but they did catch something. what the hell is that? A dark translucent figure that seems to be about the size of a child appears to be playing hide and seek with nearby people and even the neighbor's cat. But wait, 
before you say it's just a shadow or it's a glitch in the camera, here's another video of the same street. In this clip, a woman unknowingly walks right past the creepy black mass. The woman in the video doesn't even seem to see the dark shape. Even stranger is that we can see her very defined shadow on the ground. It looks very different from the semi-transparent dark mass and changes I don't shape know what in even is. direction as she walks, like a normal shadow. So what is this? Is it a ghost caught on CCTV? It's a good question. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please follow. Hmm. That was an interesting video, fam. <laughs> Yo, okay. Um, I don't know. That weird video that everyone's doing on TikTok. I ain't fucking doing that shit. Hell no. You want my location? You're going to send me to some random place? Nope, not happening, dude. Not in your fucking lifetime. <laughs> I ain't stupid. The one with the, the twin brothers? I'm not sure. I don't want to say no. But I'm not sure. I'll let you guys decide for yourselves. Let me know in the comments below which ones you thought were real. Which ones interested you the most. That last one has got my noggin jogging fam. I don't understand what the hell that was. Also, was it the first one when the dude's looking for that snake? Well, did it not look like that person had like a torch on its head? So clearly he would have seen him if he was there in, in person, right? I don't know, it's been a strange video fam. This has been a strange video. Nuke's back at it again. He has got my mind in overdrive right now. But yo, I'm going to end this video right here. We're going to wrap it up. As always, man, I hope you stay safe, stay blessed. Have a great week. It is now Tuesday, so happy Tuesday. We will be back tomorrow with either some sea gins or Arab adventure. So keep your eyes out for that one. I've been your host, Loco. And I'm at Life Fam. Ciao.